sending an e-blast campaign using your own edited email. In this video, we're going to look at how to send an e-blast campaign using an email that we have edited from our library. First, we need to add an e-blast campaign from the library. So we're going to go to the e-blast tab on campaigns. Then we're going to go to add from library. And we're going to find an e-blast that we want to use. In this case, I have an e-blast that I can use that has no content in it. And I know that because I have one that says start a new e-blast here. It's not directed at specific content. Your brokerage may have this or not, but you can use any e-blast to do what I'm going to show you today. As long as it allows you to edit this e-blast. So you need to look to make sure that it doesn't say not editable. It will be very clear if it says you cannot edit it. But if it looks like this, you can edit the campaign. I'm going to go ahead and add to campaigns. Have my little green icon that pops up at the top right saying it has now been added to my campaigns. And so I'm going to go ahead and close my library. Now my start a new e-blast is added to my library list. And I now need to update the email that will go in this. But first, let's actually look at what is available in this campaign that I just added to my library. I'm going to open this up by just clicking on the name. This is going to open up all of the options that are available here. As you can see, this one is dedicated to doing exactly what I'm going to show you today, which is adding my own content because it indicates this one time email needs to be updated. Please go change the template or change the layout of this email in the email itself. Uh, but you can see that I can edit my name, I can add recipients and I can edit my email options by hitting change e blast but I can't edit my email content here. I actually need to go back out to my campaign dashboard. So I'm going to click on campaigns in the upper left. And then you may notice all my tabs across the top under emails. I have a green dot. This lets me know I have a brand new email sitting in my uh, emails list here. So I'm going to click on my emails. And I now have a email here saying select your email template from the drop down below. Well, this is actually connected to that campaign I just added. And I know that because right here underneath the name of my email, it tells me what campaign this email is attached to. Well, I want to edit this. I want to change everything about this. So I'm going to go ahead and select this email. That will open it up and allow me to make my adjustments. So we're going to start from the top down. We're actually going to change the name of this so I can find it in my list. I'm going to edit this name. And I can name it anything I want because it's going to be in my email list. So I'm going to call this my edited eblast email and save. Next, I need to set up my email. So I'm going to go over to the right hand side on the line for setup email and select edit setup. This is where I'll want to go ahead and update my subject line and potentially my preview text. Again, depending on what has been provided to you in your brokerage's library, you might see some different options made available here. However, all of these steps are going to be identical. Subject line is going to be present in everyone's email inbox. The preview text is only going to be there dependent upon how your person has set their inbox up and how they preview that email. So the preview text is literally that is how they preview the email in their inbox. So the subject line, we want to indicate that this is our newsletter that we want to send out, or maybe it's an annual property review, or maybe there is an open house coming up or a shredder event. It could be about anything. So let's go ahead and mark this as an open house coming up. So open house this weekend. 
And then in our preview text, we can say open house uh, this Saturday at 123 Main Street. And save. And now we want to put content into our actual email. So under the build email section, we'll want to go over to edit email content. And here we see what we saw when we looked at the eblast campaign itself. The please do not use this email template. We want to actually change the content. One option you can do is just click in this box. This is a text box and you can just highlight the text that's in here and change that out with what your own text might be. You can also use the section over to the right hand side here, which has rows, content and styling and build out what you want to include in your email. You can drag and drop different rows. Maybe we want three columns. We can drag that over and add three columns into our email. And we can use the content tab to drag and drop different segments in. Maybe we want additional text in here. And all we need to do is drag and drop and wait for that little green bar that you can see to show up and we know we can then let go of our mouse button and drop the content in. Maybe we want an image to be added in. So we can really design our email the way we want. That's one way that we can edit this email. The other way we can edit is up in the upper right hand corner. We have three buttons, change template, cancel or continue. If we select change template, this will bring us to a section where we can see all the templates that are available to us. So we might see some content that our brokerage has created for us on our behalf and we can use any of that. Or we will also see all of the templates that have been pre provided for you by Moxie works. So Moxie has also created some templates that you can use and build from as well. So you may see content from your brokerage or content from Moxie. I'm going to grab one of the Moxie templates here to show you what you can do. And uh, we're creating an open house uh, email. So I'm going to grab this event template, select that, confirm that we are wanting to update the content in our email. This takes care of all of the content that was on there before. None of that wording is now present and we can now update the stuff that we're seeing in front of us here. Uh, so let's go in and change our text. This is for an open house this weekend. And we can change our font if we want to. Let's just go with a, a nice serif there. Uh, we can go in, let's see, Saturday, uh, April 30th. <clears throat> Put in the address. So 123 Main Street. We have a button here um, and you'd want to have that button go somewhere. So anytime you click on an element that's here inside your email, notice that over on the right hand side, your, uh, your panel will change to the style panel instead of the content or row. It'll switch to the style panel. That style panel will allow you to change the styling. Um, not only that will it uh, allow you to change the styling, which is the look and the feel, but it will also allow you to add in links. So all the way at the bottom of the style. So we may have to also scroll our screen down. You will be able to switch out the link for where this is going to go. So maybe here you want to send someone to a contact me form, whatever you want that button to say, you can direct people there by just swapping out the URL under the style tab on the right. 
Let's also show you how to change this image. This is a hero image that we're using. Uh, so we actually need to change this image over on the style side tab as well. Uh, if I scroll down on the side here, you'll find a section that shows background. Here we have an image. We'll just go ahead and close out that image that's being used. Click on the word images and then we just need to either drag and drop uh, a file on here or upload by clicking in this box. And it does need to be under two megabytes in order for that image to upload. So make sure your file sizes are under two megabytes. And we'll use this kitchen image I have. And we'll pop that in here and we can update our information. Uh, we can also swap out our logo if we have a different logo that we want to highlight and of course any other details. And even though we're using a template, we can always use the content section over on the right hand side to drag and drop additional elements. So if we wanted to have additional images or we wanted to have the actual listing details for our open house, we could add that into our email. So I'm going to scroll down and just show you real quick how to do that. We can grab this listings box and just drag that over and it will pop that in. Type in the uh, listing ID of your listing, uh, add that in and it will expand your email and have that listing show up. Or if we wanted to add in another image, that would expand as well. So you can add in all sorts of elements into your email. Once you're done, go up to the right hand corner, upper right hand corner, and you can go ahead and continue. Our email content has now been updated and then saved. I'm happy with what I have edited and I can now save this email. I can also send myself a test email, make sure I'm happy with it, make sure I don't have any typos because our next step is to actually send our email out in the campaign eBlast. So I'm going to go back to my eBlast tab. I'm going to go to start a new eBlast here, which is the campaign I downloaded from my library. Open that up. We now see our email represented here. Start from the top down and we will change this name. So I'm going to edit this name and I'm going to just change this to my edited eBlast here. Then I need to add people. Who is going to receive this email? Who is going to receive this quick campaign? I'm going to go to my setup button and add recipients. Then I'm going to select my people either by selecting them individually. I can also search for them by name in the search bar. And if I have people in a group that I already know I want that whole group to receive this eBlast, I can just go over to my group and select them from the list. So maybe I wanted all my people to receive that or I have a group for just open houses. I can send it to that group. Then I can select add. It will show me all the people that have been added here and I can select save. Once I've done that, I'm ready to send my eBlast campaign. So I downloaded it from the library. I edited the email itself and then I added recipients to that campaign. Now I'm ready to send the campaign. Once you hit that send campaign button, it will immediately go out to all those people you selected. We'll select send campaign and it's now done. When we come back to our tab, we'll see that it is now archived because it is a completed campaign. So it's no longer active or awaiting setup because it is completed and done. If you want to send another eBlast in the future, go back up to your library, find the campaign you want to use, download that by adding it to your campaigns and go through the same process that I just showed you. You've now seen how you can add an eBlast campaign from your library and send it with your own edited email content.